The Wandering Village. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. The Wandering Village is a city build. Oh, not another city building, Mark. How many? Why don't you just call this worth a city building? The Wandering Village is a city building simulation game on the back of a giant wandering creature. Build your settlement and form a symbolic relationship with the Colossus. Will you survive together in this hostile yet beautiful post apocalyptic world contaminated? by poisonous plants. Yes, guys, it's another city builder. I love city builders. I don't care. I like city builders. City builders are fun. All right. And there's, you know, so this is a, this is a bit of a different city builder because you are on the back of this colossal, huge, fat, six legged creature called shit. What's the call? Mine's called on goo. Yeah, that's what mine's called, I think. So, Onu, on, it begins with a no. That's what mine's called, guys. And he's thick as fucking mince. I, I swear he is. Absolute or she, I don't know. But anyway, you are on the back of this thing. Your settlement, the world is on the back of this thing. And it's made up of grass and soil and trees and plants and berries and all that kind of stuff. And what you've got to do is you've got to thrive and build up your colony in true city builder style. Build your little houses to give you little gadgets, a bit of shelter. Build some farms up, get them buried, pick and chop down the trees, get the stone and all of that. But that's it. There's not any other resources on there. So you have to get resources from the big main world. Now, the main world is the world that you're on Guku, on Uku. We'll call him Uku because he isn't called that. But we're going to call him Uku f just for this, this. So the main world is where Uku is walking around. And you can see that from the map view. Now, you don't get to see very much until you've built the lookout tower. So you can see a little bit. And there's crossroads and junctions where your stupid freak, and he is stupid, it doesn't know where to go. So you have to tell him where to turn. Do you want to go left or right at, at, the, at the junction? To do that, you have to build a horn. And that is like a signal system to... Onuku, what's he called? Ongu. I have a feeling his name may change throughout this video, but yeah, whatever. You know who I mean. The big fat with six legs. Now, once you've got that uh, communications thing built, you then have to research different uh, commands like eat, sleep, um, walk, run, things like that. And you do need these commands. Believe me, you do. I thought you didn't, and I paid a horrible, terrible price, guys. A terrible price. You see... The world is full of danger. Each biome comes with its different weather systems, but some of them will have poisonous clouds. And when your Uku walks through poisonous clouds, it's pretty bad shit. Plants and vegetables and trees get affected and it spreads like the bloody plague and your people get infected. And if you don't have enough herbs and a doctor, they'll start dying. Your plants will start dying. Everything, it's just like a plague that sweeps over the back. Of, of your beast and you have to quickly set your guys out there to take down the plants cut them down cut the the poison out of the ground before it spreads later on you'll get flamethrower units that you can use the you, you catch um uku's shit uh, and refine it into gas and uh biogas and then uh, make flamethrowers with it ship management comes into this i don't mean ship management although the management is a bit it's not shit but you do have ship management like ship management, you know, like as in shit that you have to manage, ship management, not ship management. Other things you have to deal with is tornadoes, cyclones and things like that that will, they are just terrible. And um, the results are very poor animations as all your buildings just collapse. Well, not all of them, but a shit ton of them collapse and you need to build them back up. The problem is if your Uku horn steering system is one of the buildings that's collapsed. You can't control him. You can't tell him where to go at the next junction until you've built that. And if he's running like a prick, then it, it just adds. It, it's it's you have what you have to get is that you're on the back of an animal, a huge animal. When he gets indigestion and farts, half your buildings collapse. It's just my goodness. It's just the 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 carnage, guys, that happens on his back. But little things like, let's hope he doesn't ever trip up. Because if he ever trips up, everybody's f***ing dead. There's quite a few things to research. And there's quite a few different buildings to build as well. And once you've built scavenger buildings, you can then send out uh, teams on the surface, the big world surface, to um, scavenge areas. You can scavenge 
wood, it can scavenge uh, stone, iron, sand, other settlers to come and uh, live on your on, on the back of Uku. But most importantly, you can get research points because when you're researching, a lot of the things don't require research points as you can just research them over time, but certain things will require a certain amount of research points, be all the good stuff. The, the back end, the end game stuff all requires a certain amount of research points and without them, you can't build them. So there's a lot of that. There's a lot of planning to do mine. This is the first game I ever played. It's a mess. I've put all my farms in the row. I've, put, I've messed it up badly. Um, I've used a lot of prime fertile land when I could have been building a few of these things on the on the, the brown soil areas. And I would like to start again and do it a lot, lot better. But I'm so far in now that I can't stop. I've just got to keep going until I actually finish the game. Now, it is an early access. I'm not even sure what the end game is yet because I haven't reached it. We're still plodding along different biomes growing our different foods to try we keep running out of food because when you run into different biomes your tomatoes might not grow this one so you've got to get rid of all your tomato fields grow something else you've got wheat you've got bakeries windmills you've got like i said tomatoes you've got beets there's berries to pick there's uh, corn you can grow there's all these kitchens you make to make the different types of food to keep everybody happy and fed and you need that or people won't want to join so it is fun. I enjoy the game a lot. It's a, it's a very fun game. It's a different take on a strategy kind of city builder because of the fact that you're on Uku's back and that, that brings in a lot more danger that you wouldn't, wouldn't normally get in a city builder. Um, it doesn't look brilliant graphically. When you go right in close, the people look a little bit weird. Um, I think the farms look pretty crap. The farms could look a lot better than they do. Uh, they just look a little... These little plots that you put down are just... Yeah. Bit, it needs a bit of work doing to it, but it is definitely a fun, fun game, and I love the whole concept of the of you being on the back of this animal, and that you've got to explore the bigger world, and so you've got like two worlds to explore, and then you've got to look after your animal. You've got to cure his poison, feed him, look after him. You, you have a doctor that you make that, that looks after him, and you need obviously resources to to fuel that, resources to fuel everything in this game. So there's a lot to make, a lot to manage, and you must keep an eye out on the big world map, or if you don't you'll be in serious shit so there you go guys that is the wandering village definitely worth a look if you want a bit of a change to your usual kind of city builders